Welcome to Real Magic Review, my first review uh, of 2023. And it has been a long time coming. This is my review, finally, of Symmetry, Parity and the Chimera deck from Ben Harris. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe, check out onlinemagic.co, over 800 videos now. It's a lovely community, it's a very welcoming community. If you're just starting out or you're more advanced, check it out. And if you have any questions, do email me on steve at onlinemagic.co. But have a look at that after this or before if you want and pop back. Do it in whatever order you like. But I've had this for a while. I always say that, don't I? Because it takes me ages to review books. I want to really delve into them and I certainly have with this. Now, I'm gonna, I was going to say I'm going to try not to do, <laughs> make this last too long, but we know how that usually goes. But what I will say is that I've had this a long time. I then went away from it for a bit, and now I've come back to it, so there will be stuff I'll miss out. Check out my interview with Ben Harris. It was lovely, and certainly not because of me. I have just found it fascinating, and Ben's a, a really, really lovely person to listen to, and that will give you loads of info on the book as well. So I'm not going to go through every little detail. There have been brilliant reviews. Everybody's reviewed this. I'm well late to the game. But uh, what I have got is the time I spent with it and physically as well. I've been through all the tricks, cards in hand. And you'll see that there is a studio performance of one of the tricks, the case of the Tardy. And maybe there'll be more by the time this goes out, uh, which you can also see as well on the channel. I'll put links below. So first of all, this is, I think we're okay to talk about this now because Ben has talked about it openly on the interview. This is a rediscovering of the Svengali deck. And it's not, here's a Svengali deck, here's a load of tricks you can do with it. 25 dicks, tri tricks, dicks. <laughs> that came out wrong, didn't it? 25 tricks. <laughs> it's a very different kind of thing, I think. Um, it's not that kind of publication. 25 tricks with a Sven Garlic, and now I'm all getting all lispy. Um, yeah, it isn't that. What it is, is four or five, I'd say, real juicy, different ways of looking at this and different creations using the same principle. So with this, it's a really lovely publication, Ever as Elizalde. Elizalde, oh, have I said that right? I think I have. I've overthought it now. Ever Elizalde, yeah, yeah. Uh, edited by Steve Shafton. Illustrated by Eva Elizalde. So difficult for me to say all these words. Um, and of course, yeah, forward by Andy Gladwin. And it's, first of all, it's a really well written book. It's a joy to read. Some of these books can be very dull. It's great. The way it's written is brilliant. So, first of all, very briefly, I'll go through what's in it, kind of. I'll probably miss a few things. It starts off with the. It's really nice because it starts off with free routines that you are ex explained that are explained to you as if you are the audience. This is what you're going to see. Now, some magic books do this, but then when you read it, you go, actually, that's not quite right. These, this is really accurate. And you're reading it going, surely not, because you can't almost forget what the deck is. And I did, I kind of read it going, oh, oh, is that, yeah, sure, but how is he doing that? And I couldn't work it out. So you do that and it kind of really gears you up to find out about it. And then, the next chapter is really breaking it down, all the different parts of it, the bits that make it not just a Svengali routine and to, to kind of take your audience away from that idea other than deck switches and things like that, which I think could be used very powerfully and I plan to with this stuff. So the first routine is a any card at any number. It's got this lovely presentation around 52 factorial. I wouldn't go into it, Google it. You know, Mike Powers had a great bit on this in one of his books, which, and this made me go back to that and go down a real rabbit hole of an afternoon of kind of really looking into this presentation of the amount of permutations and ways a deck can be shuffled, which is completely and utterly mind blowing. It's just amazing. You know, eight million, 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 billion, sorry, eight billion, billion, billion seven billions. Um, ways to shuffle a deck, which is pretty much infinity. Uh, infinity. And the, the presentations you can get around this are wonderful. I really suggest you go and, and get into that. And this kind of reminded me to. But you don't have to use that presentation. It's just an idea. But the idea of this Svengali deck routine at the beginning is that you have two spectators. They shuffle the cards, which is brilliant. Shuffle the cards. Uh, one of them has a look at one card. They put the deck together in a really nice way. And they sort of create the whole thing, and then you go 
you know, any number and you deal down and the card is at that number. It's beautifully done. And the reason is, is because of all these little subtleties. So the way you handle the deck, not handling it in a standard Svengali way and, and the shuffle, this resurrection shuffle, which is great. And the way you display the deck. Now, two ways. One of them using a, a slight, which some people are going to find challenging. But in my opinion, you don't need that. You can show the card just very nonchalantly before you do it. And then you get into the routine. It's really disarming. It's brilliant. And then he's got this Douglas Adams, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy um, version of the trick, which is a lot simpler in, uh, in plot, I suppose but gets to the same thing and uh, just a really lovely way, way of present, presenting it. Then we go on to Parity. Now Parity is a different deck and I will say that you get free decks in here and the special box that you need. You do not get a standard Svengali deck. You don't need to, you can get them cheap and I just bought one and I'm glad I did to do that first routine. But Parity is using the same principle but in a different way. It's, again, I've performed this, I haven't got footage of it, but I've shown a couple of people and it's just great using a touring cost and, a, coin toss and red and blacks oh, I cannot talk today um, but just w wonderful really really good and it's, it's really easy to remember as well it's very intuitive and I've had a lot of fun showing people that routine and then we've got this chimera principle which is taking the same idea and expanding it again and this is where we see the creativity in this you know we've Ben has kind of gone right I'm not going to move away from this process I'm not going to move away from this I'm going to see what we can do with this deck and this is where you start seeing where you can go with it and it's inspiring because it makes us realize that if we stay with things a bit longer because we're always moving on to the next thing which is fine it's understandable what can we discover within these existing kind of sometimes quite tired presentations and this is the, the deck that I used which you get in here for the uh, case of the Italian which I have made a video on. I love this routine. I think there's so much to it. It's it's easy but you've got to practice it and a lot of these things even though it's easy you've got to kind of spend time with them to really learn to handle the deck. I think it's beautiful and it's got this deaf Dave um, idea afterwards which is giving it a whole new presentation with a gambling theme. I really want to do it because at the end there's this lovely sort of colour, the, the, the table is full of stuff but again only good for certain situations. And then after, oh by the way incidentally going back to parity there's this uh, full deck oil and water kind of little addition to an oil and water routine so if you do a normal oil and water routine you do get like a finale which a lot of oil and water routines don't have which is perfect, then the whole deck uh, gives you an oil and water effect, which is great. So anyway, moving on. Then we've got this imagination deck. So we've had the parity deck, which is in here. We've got the normal Sven stuff. We've got the Chimera deck. And by the way, that's based on an animal that has three states of being. Uh, I think it's a goat's body, a lion's head and a serpent's tail, I think, which is why it's Chimera. That might give you a little bit of a clue to what's going on. And then we have the imagination deck. This is one I've spent the least time with. I do love it, but I was drawn more to the other things. But this again shows you the, the next stage of, of Ben's development in this. Of It's kind of like a mix between, and this isn't taking anything away from it at all. It's like a mix between Chris Congrey's child play, Child's Play, the um, mental photography deck, uh, the colouring book, it's lovely and you imagine this card into being but it's more than that but it just again shows you okay take the principle do something completely different with it and then after that you're kind of left with this feeling of okay where could I go with this now wh whether I will or not is a different thing but it again the that inspiration is transferable to other things as well and that really I mean reading this has made me go back to a lot of different things uh, when I was away and learning, you know, going back to the classics that I haven't spent enough time with. So the point of this is you've got, it's a, it's a book that you can work through and get through and learn a lot from. It's not 500 tricks, like it's a chunk of good ideas that are commercial. I absolutely believe they're commercial. I don't think there's anything in here that's just there to inspire. I think all of it can be done out of the box and performed to amazing reactions. They're falling routines. You can take these routines and do a bit of them, like with parity. You know, there's a couple of bits where I go, I'm not going to do it that many times. I'm just going to do that once and move on to it. They're open to so many different presentations and they're different kinds of routines. Like the one that I did was more kind of mind boggling and colourful. And then some of them are more about, about luck and chance and symmetry, parity, all these different things, which I think lend themselves to so many creative ideas without you having to really dig deep i think you'll just come you'll just start firing ideas when you when you go through this i think this is a phenomenal 
piece of work. I'm really pleased with it because, you know, I loved Ben's recent work on the trapdoor card. Um, it was great machinations, but it was very niche, you know, like I'm not going to go out and do that stuff. I loved playing with it, but it was a very different thing. And now this is very different again. Again, it's less niche, but I think there's a there's a, some people that will just, like me, that will just get so into it. But totally different. And then Ben's next book, Bend It Like Geller, is totally different again. So I love the stuff that Ben's coming out with now. Is just re I'm really enjoying it. And incidentally, I've read some of Bend It Like Geller, and it's stunning. Again, very, very different. So it, it's, it's a joy to have this. It's a joy to read it. And I think you'll get a lot of pleasure out of it too. Get one of these. Get yourself a Sven deck. And... Um, and do that first, have a look at the first stuff again for a few quid, but you don't need it, you can go into most stuff with this. Incidentally, it also takes you how to build the stuff. So if you want to make your own box again, and there was a lot of subtleties in the box, again, when you watch a video of it, you'll see there's lots of things built into that that aren't quite as obvious. So there's some detailed thinking that make, make it more disarming and more fooling. Uh, but if you want to build your own, all the sort of templates are in here to build and create your own Chimera deck and your own deck. So you'll get them, but you can also make them in the future as well. So I think that's about it. That was quite long and rambly, wasn't it? But hopefully you've got the idea. Any questions, do put them below and I will answer those questions on the next live session, which are on Thursdays usually at five. But again, this Thursday I have a gig. Um, having to get more gigs because those <laughs> bills need paying and they're rather high at the moment. So uh, be a bit patient with me on that. That'll be lovely. But the next live session, I might do a random one um, and I'll let you know on the community. So make sure you press the little bell icon if you're subscribed, which you should be, and then you'll get notifications of when I can and can't do the live sessions. But anyway, those questions will be answered. Um, there it is. A great bit of work. Uh, have fun with it and take care, and check out, obviously, onlinemagic.co. Cheers.